Here's an example of a queen dying because of toxic chemicals. This queen is one of my queens that I created last year, June 28th. And I found her when I opened the hive, I found her up here on one of my, one of my insulated fillers. And I have already checked, there's no eggs. So she hasn't laid for a couple days. And you see how sluggish she is. Now this uh, neonics or neonicotinoids or whatever you want to pronounce the, the word. Um, she's probably ingested some of it and some of the honey. It's already a well-known fact that our honey and our pollen in our hives contains all these pesticides. Not just the pesticides, the fungicides, the herbicides, all the toxic chemicals in our environment are in your hives. And it may not kill all of your queens. It'll kill a percentage of them. And it may not kill them right away, but it'll make them sick. And the chances of this queen surviving are probably pretty slim. So if you find a dead queen on the ground or in your hive, or you know, you may think, well, she got, she was killed because she wasn't laying. Well, this queen right here is not laying because she's sick. She's last year's queen. She's large. She is a big queen. She's not laying right now because she's sick. Okay? So if you guys want to continue pretending like everything's A-OK -okay, and you're just going to watch beekeeping videos, learn how to keep bees and stuff, well, it's all in vain because the toxic chemicals are killing your honeybees, killing your queens. Until we get rid of these toxic chemicals, we're going to have issues year after year after year. It doesn't need to be like this. This government is way out of control. We need to unite and take down this government, stop the corporations from controlling our government, and selling all these toxic chemicals to crop farmers, okay? Thank you.